spot and stuff. Chuck Wagon or something? Hey, Ch- the cool spot was a fun and you, game. And you had the Noid game, Yo Noid. That was fun. That too. was for Nintendo, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yes, but yeah. I played it. I should LP that. Well, what? There's no what, what? indicator that you're underwater. How can you poof underwater? I don't know. It's he lo- of, he like, looks so... A, a, purple? A, no! Just... I, I don't even... Yeah, it's when he swims. This yeah. is worse than World One. Oh, it gets worse. No, no, no. The, the water, the first water roll in Mario World One. Uh, three? It, no, it's, uh, no, it's it's a uh, two dash. Uh, two dash three. Yeah, two dash three is the first water level in Mario. This one dash three is the what? flying fish. Yeah. So it's two dash three that is one dash four and then yeah one dash four. Or it's two dash two. No, two dash two is the uh, the underground that leads you to the warp zone. No, that's two. No, that's two one. Or one two. That's one yeah. two. You're right. It is one two. I don't. I've never played enough of uh, two. I always went from one. You've never beaten Super Mario Brothers. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I, I've made it to world eight dash two <clears throat> through warp Did zones. Did you? How the that shark. I bounced on him like three times. You can barely hear it. It makes a drum sound when you jump on top of something or hit it with a uh, pink puff. Okay. Yeah. I've got crabs. I got okay, I'm going to slide away from you now. <laughs> I've got extra <laughs> points now and an umbrella. The umbrella uh, uh, actually comes in handy. So the coins you get um, are different power-ups that you can use at toll booths. So the one that's flashing down there is uh, the umbrella. So that lets you um, open an umbrella and for whatever reason it acts as a upward moving elevator. Because of course there's a constant moving upward draft of some kind. Of course. Yeah. Why, why, why wouldn't there be? I, I don't know. But uh, actually interestingly the, uh, the, the game has a mild amount of physics with water. If the boat is moving down it pushes you down. I've got 18 tricks and I haven't shown you any of them yet. I will, I will use them soon, I promise. Uh, and by soon, I mean before the end of the game. Okay, why, why are yeah. the oars why going the oars are in, <laughs> outside of the yes. water? Yes, the oars are in the inside of the ship for the sole purpose of bonking you slowly in the head in a very gently fashion that actually hurts you. Alright, so I got an extra hit point because the last half of the level is kind of tricky. And it's a lot easier to just use the umbrella from the the back section of the plane and just take the hits and just fly to the top of the level. Ugh. Except the exit's not right there, so you do have to uh, make your way carefully to the, the exit. Here, I can't remember exactly where it is, so I kind of risk my way through it slowly. There we go. I have no points, so I'm taking my time. Ah, yeah, springboards. Just like in Mario, they're helpful for me a little bit higher if you jump in just the right time. <laughs> um, but they're also useful for finding extra secret levels. So, safe areas and such. So, go ahead and find one here. There it is. So, another gold star, another quote unquote safe area. Not oh, nice. God. So, yeah, this is always the bonus level. And it's actually pretty dangerous. You can die very easily here. Uh, but getting a bunch of tricks, this is the best way to get tricks and possibly extra lives. And I don't know if every world has a safe area in it, uh, but most of them do. And I think I've only been doing this like one or two of the safe areas in the whole game. Get a hat, lose a hat. Get a hat, get a lose, hat, a lose a hat. Get a hat, lose a hat, yeah. Oh, oh. And the maximum number of lives is nine. So even if I gain more, they just disappear. They fizzle. Back to Pinkbeard. The game does take count of how many times you attempt a level, as a movie takes. So, uh, you know, a normal playthrough of, like, the last level, you'll probably have 20 or 30, um, potentially 20 or 30 takes. But yeah, to finish Pinkbeard, you have to climb to the top of one of the masts. Crab walking, crab walking, crab walking, crab. <sighs> so slow. Oh look, more crabs. Even more crabs than a crazy pirate. 
I'm just wondering what the f*** is up with the old, the, the spray thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. He's got a, like, a bug sprayer, paint sprayer. I don't know. It's the old school bug sprayer. What? I guess. Why pink. does that make sense? It's, Why? It's, 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 it's the Pink Panther, man. It's pink. That's all it needs to be. Back to the main level. <clears throat> so that world's done. We'll go ahead and cross over. No indicator, of course. Oh, of course. Cat on a hot pink roof. And the puns are just horrible. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's some so of the very paths hard. are really annoying. The bottom path of this world is tough. Also, apparently lightning is an enemy. That you can jump on! Yes. Harmlessly, as long as you land. So the best way to go through this place is to take the high route. Because there's less stuff. Kind of like a pee wing in Mario. Boingy, boingy. Wall. Physics. And that's the end of the level. Oh, oh. And for some reason, you don't go in there. Nope. Just double checking for extra lives, I guess. Not that I need that, that don't do you any good. Nope. Why Why don't they do you any good and you're checking for them? Uh, other items, toll items, which disappear outside of uh, levels. So all the top left areas are done. Top center's done. We still have a couple more worlds left before we can get to the last level. Gotta pay the toll if you want to get in this boy's hole. That's the one. The hook takes you to each platform and stops, which is great for precision landing. And here we are in Jungle Pink. If you don't know how to get through this level, or if you're just not really lucky, you could be lost here for a long time. Because of this. Mazes! Yes, door mazes. And they send you to the most random places. But the most important thing is having the hook. Don't ask me how I know which way to go. I just screwed around. You cheated! I Yes, I retried a lot. And there's the toll on the far right, and the exit's usually that far. And the hook, again, goes to every platform that you can possibly land on, up and down. Which makes it better than the umbrella, which only goes up. So you can actually clip downwards through floors using the hook to the exit and skip the boss. LOL's game design. There's your no score tracker. Well, it does, but just not no, during, not during not, the levels. Not currently. Yeah, only in between levels. Not that the points really matter because I've got full lives at this point. The points always matter. Yes. Wait. Icebox, the best part of the game, the fridge. Refrigerator. Yes. It's not even a pink pun. Well, they failed. There's levels in it. Oh, so, God. Uh, there's levels he, in the. Re he oh. was a refrigerator reader years before the commercial started to air out. That's right. <laughs> So, refrigerator Raider. First world in the refrigerator is the stuffing battle inside of a turkey. And the flies eating our Chex Mix. Yes. yes, we are consuming fly tainted Chex Mix. This is one of the more difficult areas in the <gasps> game aside from the last one. Uh, what is animating the wishbones? I don't know. To attack you. Voodoo? Why are there more than one wishbone and in a turkey? You, you know what this reminds me turkey of? Turkey balls? What? Somehow, it, it <laughs> kind of reminded me of the last level of Joe and Mac. Really? Yeah, when you're inside the dinosaur. Speaking of... <laughs> uh, speaking of that, Retronauts recently did an uh, episode of that. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, what? Which oh, what? is a podcast oh, I highly recommend to anyone with a passing interest in video games. Yeah, this is one of the only areas you need a toll booth to get through. And don't use the umbrella because it will mess you up. Oh, of course. I don't know how to get up there. I haven't figured that out yet. Because I have an umbrella, and I have I think you have to, like, trick a wishbone or a piece of stuffing or something to get right about here and then bounce on it to get the extra life in the secret area. But don't quote me on that. 
I don't know if that really works. But that's hey. stuffing battle. Why would it well, be No one should experience. play this game. Go to the final area, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, you have to beat it to go to the final area. Well then, how do you... The if you don't know how to get there, then... Well, but that's just another safe area, and I've visited the safe area at least once. This is the hardest transition between levels, a stuffing battle to the next area. Because the, the olives have... Physique Cola! Yes, lots of... I don't, I don't get the name, but okay. Physique? I don't know. Oh, Physique Cola? Maybe. Because I read it as fit, originally yeah. Cola was marketed as the health. Of course. Pink lemonade. It's gotta be pink. God, I hate the puns. Oh, yes. <laughs> yep, this is And the slices thing. of lemon. Lemon wedge! Lemon wedge! Lemon wedge! I'll show you lemon wedge! Yeah, this, this is one of the more frustrating areas. If the straws that move up and down catch you, they send you back to the last checkpoint. They don't kill you. Yay! But they do send you way back. Wait, realize there were straws. In this game? They're not very good checkpoints, but yes, the very beginning of the level, essentially. You're walking on a straw. I am walking on a straw. And they're trying to suck from on top of the straw. Yeah, this level sucks. The whole game sucks. Yes, it does. Don't, don't defend it. I don't. I just played it a lot when I was young. And not many people play this. I like the rubber band stomach effect. Oh, God. Takes three bounces as, to kill as, a shark. <laughs> Which is why... You, you know, as long as the stomach effect wasn't a little low. <laughs> That's right. You're doing it wrong. Use your hips. Yep. Sharks are the... More dangerous did, enemies because they're so slow. Why do they look worried? They look like, oh, I hate being in here. It's all lemonade oh, flavored. <laughs> yep. Toll booths inside of a uh, lemonade pitcher, too. Mm-hmm. And ice cubes. And flo- you, floating ice cubes. Yes. And if you thought the ice physics was bad enough in this game, imagine walking on ice in a game with bad ice physics. You don't I'll know where you know you're going. Know at this yes, point yes. Is I am quite lost, but because I don't have a toll coin at this point, you know, I don't remember. There are a couple of hidden areas in here, but I think I do find it. Blue, 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 blue. Yeah, I would have drowned by now. Mm. Coiny goodness. Also, the direction you approach a toll booth is important with directionally based coins like stairs. Good god, this game gets worse and worse. It does. If you point the wrong way, the stairs go to a worthless level. But here, here's a lemon sliced stairway to heaven. <coughs> and by heaven, I mean hell of ice cubes. Oh, they move and they slide. Wait, and the yes, I missed. Enemies. What? The men's were supposed to be enemies. Why are you using them? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I've he's enslaved tamed, them. He's tamed the wild lemon. Oh, that's right. Many, many layers of lemon. We'll try it again one one more time, maybe? I don't remember. One of those traits. Quatro Cinco 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 Forget it. Too much lemonade. I'm done. We don't need that many. We don't need any lives. We've got more. And then you got the lemonade. octopus, jellyfish, yes. whatever. I'm guessing. And the gondola. Mm-hmm. Of a lemon wedge! The, the song that I'm going to wait you can see is Peek Outside the Water. Mm-hmm. It looks like grapefruit. Well, it is kind of grapefruit. I like the background. Are you really trusting this game to be accurate? No. <laughs> <laughs> because physics. There's a pile of sugar. <laughs> Too much sugar. The only guy I trust to be accurate are Russian dash camps. <laughs> yes. yes, let's get it right every time. Apparently, I'll be watching a lot of that later. Yes, we will. There are two exits. I don't know why. I know this is a secret I exit. I don't know. But they, they is it like same. Gauntlet? You go to different levels no, or something? No, it's just a different way out because they couldn't figure out how to put you on the main route. Hope you guys liked it. If you enjoyed that, hit the subscribe button. Yes, that one right there. <laughs> the one that plays the belch sound effect. <laughs> The belching subscribe. That's right. Make sure you hit that button. It, it doesn't belch every time you hit it. Uh, we haven't perfected that yet, but do hit it, and uh, we'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.